Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. There's always a lot of controversy about the best way to feed your snake, so we have a scientific project going on to help you figure it out. You're watching Snake Bites. As long as I've been keeping snakes, there's been the debate on the best way to feed your animal in order to optimize the growth while still keeping the animal healthy. There's the group of people that think you need to feed bigger prey items on a weekly basis, another group that thinks smaller prey items more frequently, and there's even a third group that thinks vitamins are a key part of optimizing growth. So what I did was set up four groups. We're gonna feed them slightly differently and see what the growth rate is over the next six months. Let me show you how I set up those groups. First off, we're gonna use corn snakes, and there's gonna be five animals per group. And this is all based on the Munson feeding plan, so let me go over what that plan is. If a corn snake is four to 15 grams, it should get one three gram pinky every five to six days. If it's 16 to 23 grams, it should get two three gram pinkies every five or six days. If it's 24 to 30 grams, it should get a small fuzzy five to seven grams every six to seven days and finally, if it's 30 to 50 grams, it should get a regular fuzzy seven to nine grams every six to seven days. There's no need to go further in the months in scale because we're only gonna be doing this for six months. All right guys, it's Cal's question of the week. Food, we all love it, some of us love it too much. That's why we got these diets, like the Atkins diet, the South Beach diet, the Master Cleanse, the cabbage soup diet, the coconut oil pill diet. In my opinion, they're all if you want to get in shape, you need to eat right, and you need to work out, period. Let me know what you guys think of these fad diets. Text your video comment below, let me know what you think. So let me introduce you to the groups of animals. First, we have the first group of five normal corn snakes, which we're gonna call Team Normal. These guys are gonna get a normal pinky every five to six days, which is right in the line of the Munson scale. The second group is gonna be called Team Vitamin. This is gonna get the exact same size meal, but we're gonna add a multivitamin supplement to it. The third team is gonna be called Team Seconds, because these guys are gonna get fed a slightly smaller meal twice a week. And then lastly, the animals are from Team Thanksgiving. And the reason we're saying that is because these guys are gonna be beasts. They're gonna be eaten like pigs. We're gonna feed them once a week, but it's gonna be a 20% larger meal than anything else. We're gonna see what the growth rate is. Let me show you how I got these groups so that they're all even. Fortunately, I have a lot of corn snakes, so there were a lot of animals to choose from, and we wanted to raise these up for breeders anyways. And what we did was just take a group of about 100 corn snakes to go through, and we wanted them to all be right in the 15 to 17 gram range. As you can see, this animal is 15 grams, and the team, this is from Team Thanksgiving, and this group's total weight was 76 grams, so they were just over 15 grams. The next group is Team Vitamin, and just like the other groups who wanted to make sure that we had animals that were roughly about 15 grams, as you can see, this one came in exactly 15 grams, and the entire group's total was 77 grams. The last group, of course, Team Normal, needed to weigh in at the exact same weight. Now keep in mind, these are the ones that are gonna be fed on the Munson scale with no vitamins or anything extra. And again, you can see this one came in at 14 grams with a group total of 76 grams. Now it's a matter of looking at the pinkies and deciding what size pinkies we're gonna to feed to these animals, so that's our next step. What we have here are the groups of pinkies. The first group are gonna to go to Team Normal and Team Vitamin. These are three gram pinkies, just like the Munson scale says every five to six days. The smaller group of pinkies here are only two grams and they're gonna to go to teen seconds and get fed twice a week. And finally, we have four to five gram fuzzies that are gonna get fed to teen Thanksgiving once every seven days. For Team Vitamin, we're gonna use a multivitamin that comes from Exoterra. And as you can see, it's a powdered form. And you can really use any multivitamin you can find from other companies like Zoomed or whatever it is. We just happen to have this Exoterra brand on hand. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this powder on each pinky before we feed Team Vitamin. One more thing before we get started. Although each group is being fed differently, they're all being fed appropriately. All these feeding techniques are all within the means of proper care of these animals. We just wanna find which technique is gonna give us the best growth rate. As a matter of fact, I wanna know what you think is gonna be the best growth rate. Make sure to comment down below while I'm feeding these snakes. 
Here's my initial observation of the first feeding. Team Normal, Team Seconds, and Team Thanksgiving seem to take the food pretty readily off the tongs, but Team Vitamin, although they seemed extremely interested, it seemed like as soon as they smelled the vitamin, it kind of turned them off. So I just left them in there, hoping that when I come back, they'll be gone. But it'll be interesting to see if that group thrives. What's up, bat Nothing, sniff. Start my dude diet. Why are you eating Twinkies then? It's a Twinkie diet. That's all I do eat. That's easy. I bet you I can lose more weight than you do. Bet you can't. What do you want to bet? Dollar. You're on, big man. The best man. Okay, here's the trick. I only eat one an hour. If I eat too many, I get too hungry. I get sick of them. They're nasty. And George doesn't know that. Yes, three pounds in one week. In Move out the way, idiot. Let me show a pro how to do this in diet. Oh, look at that. Pro gained two pounds. Mr. Pro Man. Mr. Idiot Boy. <laughs> so, George, we're going to Subway. Got anything? I'm good. I'm on a Twinkie diet. All right. Five more. Yes, I knew I could do it. This scale's broken. It keeps saying I gain weight. Some, it's not even right. So how many Twinkies do you actually eat in a day? About eight. Oh, that's not too bad. Boxes. What? Oh yes, six more pounds. Georgie, come here, look at these abs. Steel cut, baby. <sighs> Three more pounds. <laughs> Ooh, someone's getting punchy and yeah. like chewy. Don't so touch me. Don't touch like me. Chewy. It's just cold in here. Don't and touch like me. Chewy. Don't and touch like me. Chewy. George, what the hell are you doing? Get off your ass. Let's go. But I'm tired. <gasps> George! George, George, George! George. You're right! Somebody call 911! Call 911! I got good news and bad news. Bad news, George was diabetic. Good news, George is okay. Better news, I won the bet. Best news, look at my abs, I lost some weight. For this week's Comment of the Week on the Five Nicest Snakes in the World episode, the question was, what do you do to relax? And PJOS420 said, Well, Brian, I have serious anxiety, so it's pretty hard for me to calm down. So what I do to relax is pull out my medical marijuana card, go legally purchase some ganja, get some snake food, then go home to kick back, smoke some, and feed my snakes, smiley face. Not a better way to calm down after hard day's work. Well, I tell you what, with 420 in your name, it's not surprising that you do medical marijuana that brings me to another question. What do you guys think about medical marijuana? Go ahead and comment down below. And I'm not so sure that you should be feeding snakes while you're stoned. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I have to be honest, I'm actually really excited to see how this feeding experiment is going to turn out. And over on the Snake Bites TV Facebook page, I want to give a huge shout out to ReptileOverload.com. Great job over there, guys. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.